Kate Middleton has known the Queen for more than 20 years, but the two do not have an intimate relationship due to a heartbreak in reason, it's been revealed. Kate Middleton entered the world of royals when she met Prince William in 2002. A few years later, in 2011, the two tied the knot in a lavish wedding ceremony at London's Westminster Abbey. The Duchess of Cambridge quickly became a popular member of the royal family, but her relationship with Prince William's grandmother Queen Elizabeth II is reportedly not a close one. According to Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, the Queen doesn't have an intimate relationship with the Duchess of Cambridge. She told Fabulous Digital, the Queen admires Kate tremendously but does not have an intimate relationship with her as they don't have much in common. I think the Queen and Kate have a more serious relationship as obviously Kate holds all the Queen's hope for the future and she would not want to do anything to upset that. Kate will receive the title Queen Consort when her husband William takes over the throne. William is currently second in line of succession, behind his father Prince Charles. Exploring whether the Duchess of Cambridge and the monarch have anything in common, apart from their royal duties, M. Seward said their relationship is much more formal. M. Seward said, the common bond with Kate would be her children and I can't imagine the Queen spending too much time talking about them, she is a very shy woman. But while Kate and Queen Elizabeth II don't have a close relationship, the monarch is reportedly very fond of Meghan Markle, the wife of Kate's brother-in-law Prince Harry. M. Seward said, with Meghan she would tread very carefully and do her best to make her feel at home. They have a love of dogs in common and Meghan knows how to make her laugh. Meghan and the Queen were spotted out on their first official engagement together in June last year, where their close bond became obvious. They seemed to get on very well, with Meghan giggling and whispering into the Queen's ear while watching a children's performance at the opening of a bridge across the River Mersey in Witness. In addition, the Queen has broken royal tradition for the Duchess of Sussex on multiple occasions. The Queen first broke royal tradition for Meghan in 2017, before she was even married to Prince Harry. At Harry's request, Queen Elizabeth II welcomed Meghan, as Harry's fiancée, into the royal family's Christmas celebration. The monarch also had no issue seeing Meghan and Harry tie the knot in a church, despite the fact the American-born Duchess is a divorcee. Kate will become Queen Consort whenever Prince William becomes King. Kate Middleton will one day be our Queen, and although it's probably a fair way away, she's currently working towards taking on that role. In fact, the Duchess of Cambridge has actually been prepping to be Queen Consort for some time. From the moment she married Prince William back in 2011, her fate as a key member of the royal family has been sealed. And while Prince Charles will take on the role of King before Prince William does, Kate is eager to learn the ropes in order to do the best job possible. Royal expert Rebecca Long told Us Weekly, Kate's been taking on new responsibilities little by little over the last few years, so it won't be a shock when the time comes. William and Kate are the favourite royals to take the crown in many generations, so the people of the UK are very excited about it. We sure are. Here's what Kate's doing now to prep herself for her very important future role. She's taking on more royal duties. Over the years, Kate has increased her engagements and patronages. While stats are slightly skewed as she's been on maternity leave for some of the time, she's gone from attending events alongside Prince William to making visits by herself and managing entire projects. The Duchess is now royal patron of 18 charities, and has welcomed many heads of state to the UK, including Barack Obama, who famously met a young Prince George in his dressing gown. Visits overseas are also expected to increase in future years, providing she doesn't have any more children. She's working solo more often. Kate looks confident and happy during engagements, and has already put her own stamp on her work. Since her first patronage, Kate has brought some of her own passions into the royal family. She is a keen photographer, and many of her causes support the arts such as the Victoria and Albert Museum and the National Portrait Gallery. She also campaigns for children's mental health, 
and championed the Heads Together initiative, working with charities such as Best Beginnings, Com, the campaign against living miserably and young minds. And that's not to mention her love for sport, which shows in her patronages for sports aid. The All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club, the Lawn Tennis Association, and the 1851 Trust. She's taking over patronages from Queen Elizabeth. Earlier this year, it was announced that, after 67 years as patron of the, the Royal Photographic Society, that the Queen handed over the reins to her granddaughter-in-law. A statement from the palace said, the Duchess has a long-standing interest in photography, and this patronage will further highlight the beneficial impact that art and creativity can have on emotional well-being, particularly for children and young people. The Royal Photographic Society is one of the world's oldest photographic societies. It was founded in 1853 with the objective of promoting the art and science of photography, and in the same year received royal patronage from Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. The society has over 11,000 members and runs an extensive program of more than 500 events throughout the United Kingdom and internationally. Her Royal Highness was made an honorary member of the Royal Photographic Society in January 2017. Not to mention the fact that she's working on making her wardrobe more stylish, sticking to what she knows she does best and, of course, raising three adorable children at the same time. Kate, we think you'll nail it.